What's going on guys, this is Makai. So we got the Bleach Rebirth the Souls trailer for Ukiota. As the trailer opens up, we're greeted to the usual screen. But instead of being black like the Soul Reapers and even Chad, we have a white screen in particular. On this white screen, we see words like Arankar as well as Ukiota's title as the Quattro Espada. We see the name of his blade, Mercia Lago, which is the name of his sword, as well as the release of his Resurrection. Also, the name of his home world, Hueco Mundo, is highlighted as well, with the number four being briefly highlighted. Even the words nothingness appears on this brief screen as well. They even have a cool effect of the Garganta opening up the transition to another screen. Then we're greeted with the quote, the Quattro Espada who came out of nothingness, he overwhelms the enemy with his super fast Reishi recovery in the second stage of Resurrection. So this should be pretty interesting to see what Ukiyota is capable of doing. Ukiyota does his introduction. Your life is going to end here. Now right off the bat, you might question something if you were an English only watcher and it's why is the name Ukiyota Schiffer with the S and not Schiffer with the C? I went and saw that Brave Souls also has it spelled S-H-I-F-A-R. Is this like the Medela effect where we always saw Cypher, but it was always Shifer? We get into the basic combat of the gameplay. We see Ukiyota has more of a fencing style as he's stabbing Ichigo, and that looks to be more of his basic style of attack when he's fighting. Ukiyota has as a signature attack the Seto. The Seto is a move that sacrifices his own Reishi to release a powerful blast in front of him. In addition to increasing combo damage, it can be used in a wide range of ways such as a coverage gaps in attack and destroying opponent's counter attacks. Ukiyota sacrifices his own Reishi in order to do damage to the other person. I imagine this is something that you're going to be mindful of, otherwise I don't think it would be mentioned unless it's a significant health decrease this is also one of the first moves that make use of a resource if you will we see two different versions of this being used in the gameplay and then we switch off to the spiritual pressure one attack ukiyo spiritual pressure one attack is instant regeneration a move that gradually restores reishi over time the ability can be accelerated by holding down the input so you heard that right he has a move that takes away Reishi, and he has a move that restores Reishi. So it might be that he gets taken a considerable amount of Reishi when he uses the Seto, but he can make use of his Spiritual Pressure 1 move, which can gradually restore Reishi over time. And you can also hold it down to accelerate it. So that's something to keep note of. That's right, folks. He only has two attacks. Well, one attack, which is Seto, and he can restore his Reishi. Then we're introduced to his Resurrection Awakening, Murcielago. In prison, Murcielago. Ukiyo's performance is enhanced by releasing Murcielago with Resurrection. The amount of spiritual pressure Ukiyota acquires is drastically increased, making it easier to take advantage of his spiritual pressure move. Just like Ukiyota's base form, his attacks seem fast and stylish, and we see him fighting against Ichigo on the top of the canopy of Las Noches. They even show us a combo where he uses the combo and he continues it by using the Seto Blast. Very briefly, the trailer pans to Sengunda Etapa, the reawakening for Ukiyota, and he uses what I imagine is the final Kiko move, as highlighted in the previous video. It's the Javelin move. I'll put it on the screen because I cannot pronounce it fully. He uses that, he throws it, and that's the end of the trailer. What do you guys ultimately think about this? Let me know down in the comment section. I am Makai San. Like I said, Ukiyota is going to be a character that you're going to be more mindful about the resources you're making use of, and it's not a character I believe is going to be a very easy character to use. But until then, I'll catch you guys later.